everyone, this is Kurt from MasterQuest One. Today I'm going to do an update to my video I made a while ago on using APT in a, the flats making aid. So first off, let me just show you, I'm using the white t-shirt over the telescope method and I, I use a tablet for my light source. And also let me apologize for this big mess I have here. I'm painting my garage floor and so I've got everything all over the place. So anyways, back to business. So the reason I'm doing this is I've changed my constraints to my my flats. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go on the computer and, and demonstrate this. I wish there was a way I can link this video with my other video on YouTube already, but if there is, I don't know how to do it. Hi, everybody. So I've opened up Astrophotography Tool, and I'm going to use the CCD Flats Aid to make a set of flats. Now, you can do this in... SGC or a sequence generator pro and you can do it in Nina it has one and I know Nina has one because I saw Queeve the lazy geek do it so I've changed some of my parameters from the last time I did the video that's why I'm doing this new new set here but let's open up this the flats aid and if you did it fresh it would give you a totally it would start off by giving you a different AD U reading. ADU is the brightness in a nutshell. I'm not going to go any further and explain, say, it's the brightness of the background. The range is uh, 5%. The starting exposure that it would give you, I, I believe, is 1. The minimum exposure would give you, well, it was simply 0.01, and the maximum would be like something like 30 seconds. That's if you've opened it up fresh. So, I'm using my target ADU as 19,000. Previously it was 12,000. I've upped it a little bit. Where does this number come from? Well, it comes from your sensor. My ASI 1600 has a maximum of 64, 65,000 for the ADU. And usually they say you want to go 50%, which would be 30,000. I don't know who they is, but it's some, it's somebody. <laughs> Um, I use, I'm going 19,000, which is about 30%. And my target range is 5%. So it's going to be within 5% of 19,000. That's going to give an optimal reading. And my starting exposure, as I said before, is one second. So I'm going to keep that. And my minimum exposure, this is also what they say. They, they say that you, you don't want it too short, nor do you want them too long. You want them about a little over half a second and around five seconds. So anywhere in that range would be acceptable for flats. Now, how are you going to get your flats to match up to these constraints? Well, you're going to change the brightness of your, your tablet or your light panel, whatever you use, in order to get so you can make the flats in this optimal range. Okay, now here's the filter positions. I'm going to do all, I'm not going to do all the filters. I'm only going to do the LRGB. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to change that to position one, which is luminosity. And I'm going to go to position four. So one is luminosity, two is red, three is green, and four is the blue. So I'm going to have it make a set. So watch what happens. I'll press the run button. Filter change. And you can actually see what's happening down here. So it looks like it's way too bright. All right, I'm glad this happened. It says it cannot reach the target ADU. You must use a shorter exposure time. So that tells me I've got my tablet set too bright as well. So I'm going to lower the brightness on that. Okay, I've now lowered my brightness on my tablet, so now I'm going to press the run button again and see if it can make flats in those constraints. So 
So it's done the luminosity, it's done the red, it's doing the green now. Filter change. And now finally the blue. Auto flats finished. Okay, and so it's done now, and it made a new plan, and it says you want to overwrite the uh, the fat flats aid plan or create a new one. Yeah, so I'm going to create a new flats plan, and then I can close this out. And if we go over to camera, and here's the new flats aid plan. So all I have to do is press start, and it'll make a whole new set of flats. So I'll show you my results uh, later. And one thing you can notice on here, you see this little darkened area unfortunately that's something to do on my sensor so i'm gonna have to clean my sensor because that's that's a pretty bad one it, or it could be on my flattener focal reducer i check my telescope and it appears on every every filter so it's it's before the filter so i know it's so it was either the telescope the focal reducer or the sensor itself and i'm not sure which it is and unfortunately i already took a i already did a new project so this is on that, unfortunately, but uh, oh well. Yeah, that's what we have, uh, Pix Insight and, and Photoshop for. So, okay, let's take a look at the fruits of my labor. So this is the HA, and there's that one big blip, and these are all secondary blips. The flats actually removed this, these smaller blips that you see in here. So that was that was fine. This blip, uh, which I, I still don't know what it is, um, it showed up a little bit on my image, but it, this is easy to fix in post-processing. Here's the oxygen, that same blip, and those same other blips which get removed when I stack the image. This is the red, looks similar. Here's the green, and finally the blue. So anyways, that's about all I have, and I hope this helps, and we'll see you next time.